listen to the listen to the music, my fellow nine year olds. Just listen for a few for a few seconds. Take it in. I'm going to take a little different take on this video than my than my previous content because I feel I feel though as this storm which has been blowing up for the past few months the lot the previous year actually the whole battle between PewDiePie and T series the battle between the individual and the corp the corporate world I feel though as if it's time for me to do my part or well rather just discuss the whole subject of what's currently occurring and I feel though as as if I'm coming from a commoner's point of view like i am not a internet famous person like markiplier or you accept guy i i don't have millions of subscribers who will who will heed my heed my call and take up their banners when when the when our when our king is have need of have need of my followers but i still feel as if i'm able to analyze what might happen the day when T series actually overcomes PewDiePie. And I certainly feel that it's not a bright future ahead of us. I feel though as if if T series overtakes PewDiePie in a very dominant fashion. Say that the battle just completely falls apart. Uh, our generals, Mr. Beast, Markiplier, Yaksepta, Elon Musk, and like all of them, they just they just lay down their arms and surrender to the might of the our Indian overlords and leave leave our god king in the dust. I feel as if that might radically change the YouTube and internet that that we see before us currently. Let me tell you a small history lesson of my experience on the internet my experience on the internet and youtube in particular it began somewhere around 2006 2007 i was a young kid back then i'm born in 95 i was i was around 10 11 years old when i first started looking at youtube to begin with and back then it was just cat videos and fat ladies person people falling and like in general it was just like american home videos bloopers it, it was it was just a mess of people wanting to put funny content on on youtube and i think it's sometimes hard for people to realize that the youtube that we see today is vastly and almost unrecognizable from how it was in the beginning. I'm sure that a lot of you guys have have experienced and seen YouTube back in 2012 and just before that when Smosh and Ray William Johnson and all those people were in it and it was sketch sketches which dominated. Only for them to be overtaken by PewDiePie and his gaming, really, that gaming channels had a very large impact on YouTube and internet. But just like YouTube and the internet in general has, has evolved, so has PewDiePie. And I mean, his current, current content is radically different from what it used to be, but... Th this also brings with it a sort of fear, at least, at least in my eyes, because... If and when T series no, it's it's not if when T series takes over and overcomes him, it's no longer going to be an individual which has the most subscribed channel on YouTube, except you know like fucking YouTube means but we don't even count that shit. It's going to be a company, and I mean we have all already seen what happened with the fucking YouTube Rewind 2018, the biggest fucking cringe fest that. And I'm sure we all have experienced and actually seen, but I think we just have to make a statement. And we have already made a statement, seeing as PewDiePie was supposed to lose his number one spots, spots now, spot 
already in I believe it was almost October, November last year, and we have managed to fucking stay ahead until February. But that's not enough. That's really not enough. I feel, as, as a lot of other content creators and most of you guys already know, is that we have to stay on top until 100 million subs. There is countless people that have spoken about this, but... My... I'm just like all of you guys. I don't have the followers, I don't have the numbers, I don't have anything. I have fuck all, to be honest. And... But, but my personal fear is, is that the internet radically radically might change in a favor of corporate, corporate. the companies, etc. get a bigger influential role in, in YouTube. Because they might make more money, like the channel YouTube and the company YouTube might make more money on signing with the companies rather than with smaller creators like like you and me like all of us and i feel that as if we can get pewdiepie ahead to 100 million subscribers and really show that the internet and youtube and all its followers won't go quietly into the night i'm sorry for that Really cringe this picture. But that we won't just lay down our arms and surrender. And that we have a voice. We have a voice in PewDiePie. We have a voice in the content creators. We have... We, we have a duty to make sure that this... That we don't go quietly. That we keep fighting. That we... Like... Uh, honestly... I'm, I'm not sure why I'm so fucking passionate about this. I just want YouTube to remain as it is. That that the individual, that, that the smaller channels, that the, the creators still have have a role to play in in the future of YouTube. Because I mean, we've already seen what they've started to do with the YouTube uh, premium bullshit that you can actually pay to get certain services and. I mean, who knows? I mean, YouTube is owned by, by Google. I mean, it could turn so to the point where you actually have to pay to get a YouTube account or whatever. But for but for as, as long as we make sure that the creators still have a major role in the hierarchy of YouTube, we can ensure the free, like the free environment of all of us. And PewDiePie is this rallying banner that we have to stand behind. So that's why I'm saying... Subscribe to PewDiePie. And let's keep this war going. Let's not surrender. Not, let's not lay down our arms. But rather lay down our lives. As... As Caesar... One said when he passed passed the Rubicon in Italy, the dice has been cast. The dice has been thrown. Hannibal has crossed the Alps. Victory or death. There is countless other more inspirational quotes, and they are probably more inspiring when they're not coming from from this fucking twenty-something Swede, but. We have a duty, and it's still little guy who has to stand up against the fucking corporate world. It's David versus Goliath, and PewDiePie is David. We all know how that story ended. <laughs>